Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, well, we're gonna play as the Nasasio. Um, the laugh there was because I'm streaming this, of course. For those of you on YouTube, I'm streaming this. I'm on Twitch right now. Flytris4567 said, play as the stealth ship. And I said, I'm not gonna play as a stealth ship. I'm, I just played that like two runs ago. <laughs> Thank you, Worried Coffee, too. Like, I played that ship two runs ago. I'm not gonna just choose it now. I mean, it was a DASR 12 or something, but okay, we'll play as an Asashio. Fine. Let's do Let's go. God damn it. Well, we have to make him the pilot now. All right. No, don't dismiss my crew member. No, 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 no. We gotta make him the crew member, and... No, stop clicking on this miss! At least it gives you the question prompt. I see Void Vector in chat. And I see... Coffee. I see Coffee. It's the first name I saw when I looked at chat, so there we go. Okay, what do we have? We have the Nasasio. We're gonna be focusing on dodging enemy shots with the cloak. Killing him with the dual laser mini beam combo, saving 125 scrap for the shields. And moving on. You control the doors. You don't control the doors. You are a man aboard my ship. You control what I tell you to control. Now, unfortunately, they have a beam that makes this very dangerous, but there's nothing we can do about it. What's also annoying is that they have a, um, an overcharger drone, so we have to make sure we actually land our, all of our shots. It's gonna be kind of annoying and difficult to deal with, but we'll, we'll try. The only thing that can do damage is a mini beam, and all the shots have to land from the dual laser. Oh, thank you for dodging! 30% chance, but if that hit the weapon system, we would have not been able to destroy the ship at all. Oh, luck. Yes. You're a good pilot so far, Flytris. That was a great dodge. Good lord. That was important. This ship is a pain, but you just have to you just have to hope. It's all RNG. Unfortunately. I usually like the stealth ships, though. I usually can get some pretty high scores. A drone and a heavy laser mark II. I will attack the ship. It's a beam drone, which sucks, but you know what? I wanted to see if we could do it, and I think we can. That could go on weapons. I'm gonna cloak. Ideally, this is all we need in order to break their weapon systems anyways. Land, land, land. Do it like this. Take that laser offline. Yeah. I wanted to start on the laser system because I thought it was about to fire, and it actually turned green when the beam hit, but we managed to take it out before it did any damage. Lovely. So we took a couple of whole points of damage. You know what? Whatever. Fine by me. Fine by the beam. Used to love the Nasasio. The Nasasio. It's a good ship! The DASR-12 is more fun because you one-shot ships with that, uh, that glaive beam. But it is also more difficult because you have such a long charge on that gun, usually you can't even get it off. You just get hit, you lose your charge. It's very annoying. Oh, I know we would fall into our dastardly trap. Okay, we got a fucking high on weapon, who cares? And a beam. We can we can take out their um, weapons before they can fire at me. That's not a problem. Cloak. It's not gonna land on weapons. We take out their weapons. And we're fine. <laughs> hey Shark P Oreo, show us how you make the sauce! <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, oh, damn, the beam is still online. That's unfortunate, they will get a shot off. Unless I can cloak, but I don't think we'll be able to. Yeah, all right, well. It doesn't matter, a couple hope points. You know, we're gonna take damage. There's nothing we can do about it. Ah. You were not done with the repairs. I was looking at the wrong icon. scrap. I don't want to spend scrap. I know I could upgrade the engines, get a better cloak. I just want to get to 125 so I can get the shield upgrade. That's the most important thing, I think. Because if we don't get that, we're not going to live. Forever. Who wants to live forever? It's not going on weapons. We can let it go. The missile is firing, but that's okay. 90% chance of dodging. <gasps> yes! No, that's not good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. You hit once, they take the one power weapon offline, they leave the two power weapon online, and then you hit him again, and then that finally takes it offline a second time. It's always so uh, worrisome for a second there. You're like, oh god! You prefer live and let die. I hate... Live and let die. Live and let die. Burm, burm. Live and let die. Burm, burm. It's like the. It's like one of the worst Bond movies, I think. Set sensors to maximum scan. Tell them to stop. Any life is valuable. We can accept the bribe. We can get an oxygen upgrade. Ugh. Accept the bribe. Demand the surrender of their goods. They have a drone system, but it's only a anti-personnel drone, which means that they are easy to take out. As long as they don't hit me with the beam, but we can probably take out their weapons in one shot. If, if two shots land, we can take out their guns. And I can probably even hit four systems, yep. And we started a fire, perfect, perfect. In fact, with all of their crew in one room, maybe we can actually kill the crew. No. It's gonna keep them busy in there for a second, but now they're going and doing other repairs. Hit the shields again, and just kill them. It's better than the new one right now, as in Spectre. Oh, a new gun! It's a good gun! Well, I mean, it's okay gun. It's a gun, though. We're gonna want that for the future. I have not seen a new Bond movie in, like, seven years? I think, like, the last one I saw was... Not Quantum of Solace, but the one after that, I think. Quantum of Solace, which is just a terrible Bond movie in its own right, but not necessarily for the action, just for the frickin' plot. A guy wants to control water in this... small section of the Middle East for... and... he just wants to profit off of it. It's like, okay, I mean... <laughs> it sounds like a... that sounds like something that the government needs to just respond with, not just like... send in a spy secret agent man who's gonna just frickin' murder everyone, because that's what he does. I just don't get it. <laughs> Okay, Moon's... not Moon Scraper, uh... Moon Raker? Moon... Moon Rake? Moon... Moon Raker, yeah. Moon Raker, a guy wants to... destroy the planet. Uh, I'm just gonna let the laser land. I wanna be able to cloak out of the, um... triple laser shot that they've got going on here in a second. It's like that movie, he wants to destroy the planet. Quantum of Solace, I want to make money off of water! Dumbass movie. Does anyone remember Octopussy? I don't. I remember the movie. Like the title. I, I know that it is a Bond movie, I just don't remember anything about it. 
I don't remember Dr. No either. I keep looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at his health and like, he's not done with the repairs! Stupid. I can probably recite many of the Bond movies, like the titles, but... I used to have this game in uh, in high school. I had a friend and we both liked Bond movies and so we would just like, we would play this game where we would try to recite the names of the Bond movies and whoever couldn't think of one lost. But I, I never remembered, like, the actors. I never remembered who played Bond or, uh... Or the, uh... The Bond lady. Bond... Bond... Bond girl? Bond girl! I don't remember who played Bond or the Bond girl in those movies. Damn. Fire in the piloting room, we gotta put that out. It's not too bad of a hit. I would like to take out their laser before they can get in another shot. It looks like they have a, a, a NG on board, maybe? Because they got that repair done quickly. Oh no, we we didn't even uh, land the shot, wasn't that correct? We, we missed the laser shot, if I remember correctly now. Right, okay. 112 scrap. We actually can't afford a shield system if I sell titanium system casing, so this is a perfect opportunity to find a store. Favorite Bond is Roger Moore. Dude, Sean Connery. You not a Sean Connery fan? Your best. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and burp the prom queen. Carla was the prom queen. Oh, you don't say. Rock's a terrible movie. <laughs> Any movie with Nicolas Cage, though, has my uh, vote of approval. Oh my god! If I can take out their weapons, we can get that stuff repaired. Uh, you might as well stay in there and fire the weapons. Okay, repair this first. Good. Good, 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 good. Your favorite bond is bondage. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Uh, they're dead. It doesn't matter where we hit them. Alright, go get healed up again. We got plenty of money. Now we just need a store. Is there a store? No. I mean, I could have gone to a store previously, but I wanted to get into more combat because I think that we'll be okay for, for it the time being. We can probably find a store in the next sector pretty early if we jump far ahead. Yeah, we can get two more beacons, not a problem. Refugee ship. This isn't the station, this is the refugee ship. Okay, that's fine. It is actually perfectly fine. You just vent the entire ship except for the med bay on this guy, on this, this layout. It's easy. I should have depowered the O2, but I forgot. Oh, take a drink. <laughs> that's a good FTL drinking game. It's not something that's gonna get you, you know, wasted completely, but you take a drink whenever you get boarded. Take a drink. <sighs> Pour one out for your boys. The only way we can, we can get caught by the rebels is if it's a uh, rebel ship trying to leave and they get away. But no, it's just a, uh, a standard rebel ship. Now they do have a combat drone, which is annoying, but as long as he only fires on like the med bay engines, we should be fine. I just want to cloak before he fires on the weapon system. That's the most important thing. He's not firing on the weapon system. We don't need to cloak. I'm gonna cloak now because we can. We should be able to take out their, uh, sh their systems quickly enough before they get another shot in. 
no, the combat drone is still online. Shit. We're gonna take a few points of damage. Not, not, nothing terrible. There we go, now their drone is offline. Nothing, you know, that we can't handle, it's just annoying. Picked up like another five points of hull damage there, which is not, not the best, but that's okay. Go to the exit, go to the next sector. 147 scrap. We purchased literally nothing on this sector. <laughs> Except the bribe, be a hero. We're gonna be a hero. There's a chance I think that the civilian ship turns into a shop, which would be lovely, but even if it doesn't, I think we wanna do this. I think I will try to um, cloak out of this shot right here. And I'll try to take out their weapons by hitting with both dual lasers. Because I don't want to get hit by the heavy laser, it does two points of hull damage, has a chance of breaching. So instead, I think we're gonna just, just do it like this. Can I hit four? I totally can. We did it. So we took out the, um, the, the big triple shot laser at least. We might get hit by the heavy laser again, but there's nothing we can do about that. Now, they're gonna offer me a lot of fuel. We don't need fuel, but again, I want to save the civilians, so they give me something. I'm gonna try to, ah, oh, they have an NG. That was worthless. Oh, good dodge. Thing is, the NG's gonna get the, sh uh, the system repaired before, uh, before I could take out the heavy laser anyways, it was bad timing. Uh, they'd left, so we didn't get anything out of it. We just got a little bit of scrap. Not bad though. I don't think we took any damage on the encounter, which is nice. Abandoned or pirate? Pirate. Spider-Verse movie animated one? Animated spider movie, that's, that's interesting. Nebula, huh? I'll get the piloting. I like going through the nebula because if there's no combat, there's no combat. If there is combat, it's combat. And uh, we can jump ahead a little bit, and by jumping ahead, maybe we can get some extra information on the sector, maybe find a store. This is gonna suck. 90% chance of dodging. Take out their weapons. Uh, and shields, why not? And now that we're cloaked, have my pilot come in here and help deal with this border for a second. He's dead. Pilot the ship, please. <laughs> uh, oxygen? Yep. Oxygen's on fire, too, unfortunately. We'll get that put out. Good, 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 good. Weapons offline. We need to get a shield system, but, I mean... We just have to hope we can find a store. We have the scrap for it now. We just gotta find it. Take these offline. This is how you deal with uh, no oxygen in the oxygen room, by the way. You just, you vent it to get rid of the fire, you open all the doors in your ship, make sure the O2 flows into the room, and then you're, you'll be fine. Your crew won't suffocate to death. I do not remember Spider-Man. I'm sorry. He just bought Nuclear Throne, says, I'm a yeet! But welcome back, I hope you have fun with it. It's a fun game, I like it. There's the store. Go jump, 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 store, and then bounce around by the exit. We could keep exploring, get into some more combat, but I'm wary of it. But I'm going to do it anyways. You know, actually, here's what we should do. We should get the weapon online. Two beams. Oh, shit. That's not going to be weapons. That's not going to be weapons either. Now we cloak. 
their weapons are offline. So we took three points of damage for the ship. That's fine. But yeah, if if I if I need if I need to go through like four or five more jumps to get to the store, I should get the charge laser online. Maybe also a couple of bars of reactor power, and then I, I can afford shields when we get to the store, ideally. That might be a problem, though. You know, I might not be able to afford a shield system if I spend too much money, but it might be worth it. You know, I could depower the mini beam if I really wanted to. Hundred and sixty five scrap. How much would it cost? Cost sixty eighty. Sixty five scrap. Could also get a better cloaking system instead. Being able to cloak for longer could be nice because we could uh, avoid some extra shots, maybe getting a couple of shots. Get the cloak. Let's get the cloak. I'll depower oxygen to. Uh, the cloak more. Uh, close all doors, open all doors. There might not be anything in the nebula, but it's still worth it, I think, to push forward. And you can get some good encounters. Nope, or just this one. Well, garbage encounter, but nothing, nothing you can do about it. Come to me! Ah, oh, they're in the med bay. Or they're in the, uh... Sensor's room. It's okay. Did I watch Solo? I did not see the new Star Wars movie titled Solo, no. figured out why uh, it feels weird to talk today. <laughs> I think I burned the roof of my mouth yesterday on food or a drink or something. So now every once in a while my mouth is just like, ow. <laughs> ow, it hurts. It hurts to say certain syllables. Annoyingly, th th there's um. Another achievement in the game. Get to Sector 8 without jumping to a beacon with an environmental danger. It's pretty easy with this ship because you have the uh, long range scanners, which tells you of any uh, hazards at beacons, but this is just a bad layout for it because you literally have to go through a hazard in order to get to the exit. So you're not always gonna be able to get that achievement on every run. Stress, stress. No, I want to go... I want to hit the sun. We might take some damage because we don't have a shield system, but it's better than going through the asteroid field, that's for damn sure. <laughs> no, I didn't burn my mouth on sauce. I wish! It's not going to be weapons. I can take one shot, and then I can probably cloak. Well, now that the oxygen's offline, I definitely can. cloak now. And then we'll get him to repair the O2. He, mm, he's not going to be able to do it in time. You know what? Get off of it. Okay, we can fire in on their drone system. Ideally take that combat drone offline. They might just take their repair drone offline though, but I'm hoping that we can hit twice. Nope, we dodged. The, or the first shot missed. The second shot missed! Oh shit. We might die. I hate to say it, but this might be a situation in which we might lose this combat and, and die. Yep. Uh, we lost our weapon. The fire we can deal with. The, the combat drone is just going to destroy me. Ooh. 
And we just keep missing our shots. Yep, we, we lost. Damn! RNG got us with that, uh... With that shot, I think. Taking out my weapon system. We have one shot. We have one chance, and that is to land and don't miss. Both shots missed. There we go. That's it. I mean, that was a good run. Uh, the RNG got us on that fight. What can I say? That's that's the the role of the Nastasio. I'll restart though. We'll um. You know what? No. Let's 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 choose a different ship. I don't want to play the red tail though. Aerial Aerial Max. Sure, we'll play as the Aerial Max. We start with three slugs, a chain laser, mind control, and hacking. This is actually kind of a nice ship. We only have one more system slot, and it's probably going to be for missile defense, either a cloak or a defense system. How do you unlock the slug ship? You have to go to a slug home nebula. You have to accept surrender offers from slug ships. They won't tell you what the offer is. They'll say, hey, if you if you accept our surrender, we'll give you what's in our ship stores. You have to say yes. Eventually, you will find a ship that gives you an anti-bio beam. You have to say, we don't want it. We want information. They'll give you a quest beacon. You go to the quest beacon with at least Level 2 sensors or a slug, I think? And you have to not engage in combat. You have to tail the ships and try to keep them in sensors range. And if you do that successfully, you get a combat encounter. And if you win that combat encounter, you get the slug ship. So it's kind of a little bit um, difficult to get to. But it's slug home nebula, sensors or a slug, accept surrender offers, avoid combat, get into combat. It's basically what it is. Okay, uh, oh god, this ship sucks. <laughs> I just realized. It's a chain laser. Aw, oh, shit. 16 seconds charge time is so bad. We're gonna want to get rid of this gun if we can, but we'll, we'll move on. I need to... Ah, uh, no, thank you. I need to change up my crew, though. We got Thuckinator. See a bunny bun. And. <gasps> okay. It was there when I looked. We got a squig. Alright. Ducks the pilot. Bun engine, squig on weapons. Let's do it. Yeah, the ship is very ugly, I will admit. <laughs> it's fucking. So yellow. Ugh. We don't have sensors. We can see aboard the enemy ship, though. I definitely mistimed my uh, my shield depowering, repowering, but it didn't matter too much. Just got to make sure that the shields go online after the ion goes through. The chain laser, though, oh god, it sucks so much. One of the worst weapons in the game by far. Oh, they have no shields. Can I take out their weapons? No, because my weapon doesn't actually fire at all. It takes a million years to actually do anything. We will not accept surrender. I hate the chain laser because it just takes 16 seconds to charge. You could, fi you could have a gun that fires like four shots in that length of time. Not the chain laser, though. It takes 16 seconds to fire the first shot. You're going to take damage. You know, a ship like this, we're going to take a lot of damage because we can't take out any enemy weapons quickly. We do have a hacking part, admittedly. Admittedly, we can use that, but it's still not going to be great. The ship looks like a cartoon projectile snot rocket. It's an interesting way of phrasing it. <laughs> snot rocket. <laughs> How did I take damage there? I don't think it was an ion shot. I think it was just a... A, a weird game mechanic where the uh, asteroids reset when the combat finished or something. That was strange. 
I think it is a bee ship. I, I like that way of putting it. Because it does look like a bee ship. It's a giant bee ship. So what do we do? I think we hack there. Nothing. We put someone on the shields. Because if, if I'm not mistaken, heavy laser mini beam means I can have someone on shields and then the shields will, re will recover before the, sh the beam lands. Yeah, just barely, but that is how that works, okay. Get you back on weapons. Yeah, if, if they have a heavy laser and they have a mini beam, you can put someone on the shield room and you'll just barely be okay from damage most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. <clears throat> we'll keep mind controlling their crew. It's good to keep them busy. There we go, take that heavy laser offline. The NG's almost dead, which is lovely for me, because they're not gonna get anything repaired. Oh, NG decided to repair the shields. I screwed it up. I shouldn't have said anything. They're trying to escape, they will not escape. You will never escape from this. Dolan! The Zoltan. Dolan the Zoltan. <laughs> Zoltan, Zoltan. Isn't that the name of the dwarf from the Witcher series, Zoltan? It doesn't sound right. Isn't that his name? Dolan the Zoltan. Call him Zoltan. No, we'll do a. Uh, we'll do crew members named after chat, and we'll have to we'll have to make him Void Vector. Void Vector is a, is a, a subscriber, so he gets preference <laughs> for the names. <laughs> uh, we'll go to stress, and then work our way towards the exit. That was definitely a, a worthwhile combat, though. We didn't take any damage. Oh, we got a rock man. We didn't take any damage, we picked up a Zoltan, which is extra reactor power. I love it. Sure. You can have this one. Mr. Rockman! Where do we want Rockman, is the, the question. We could put him on doors? I tell you what, we're gonna have... Oh shit. We're gonna have Rockman go on shields, Zoltan is gonna go on doors. Here's my thinking, right? Rockman is the last line of defense. I should call him by their name, Flytris. Fly is... Here, there we go. Fly is the last line of defense for any boarders who wanna get into the piloting room. He's very centralized. We can keep him in the shield room for a long time. You know, he can walk into the piloting room to help with combat. He can walk into the engine room to help with the combat, whatever. The Zoltan's not gonna get into combat because he has low health. We want him to be in the door room, but I also want him to be within range of the clone bay so that I can run him in there to power it up if we get ionized. Because now, if a crew member dies, Ion damage will not kill our crew. An ion bomb won't kill our crew. A, a pulsar that ionizes the clone bay will not kill our crew. So I think this is what we want. Now, if I put him in the door room, we won't get any value out of the power from him. So I am gonna keep him like in the engine room. I'll move, move him into the door room or the clone bay as desired. But I think this is what we want. This is nice because we get some extra, extra reactor power. I just, I don't want him to be in the shield room, because normally when I move him in and out of the shield room, it like, fucks with the power. Same thing with the weapons, so I, I want him to be like in the engine room, because engine power is, you know, just 5% dodge chance. It's not an entire bar of shield goes down and then we take, you know, a lot of damage because of it. Stuff like that. I think that's what we want. And you know what, Fly? I'm glad to have you because we 
Did not have a second level med bay to get a blue vent option in that event, but because we had the rock man, we could get a blue vent option in that event, which gave me some extra scrap. I like it. Duckinator! Thank you very much for a sub. I appreciate it a great deal. See, now you have preference on, uh, on naming for the next run of FTL. Although you're, you're the pilot of this ship. It's a nice little duck emote. Neggle duck. <laughs> um, man, I gotta think. This ship. I could hack them. Keep their weapons down. I'm gonna hack their weapon system. I know they don't have any shields, but I want to try to get in a shot on the chain laser before they fire, and we're not going to be able to, actually. Actually, we might be able to. We can, just barely, but we can make it work. Piloting's offline, but we'll be fine. There we go. Okay, okay. It, it, that's a good test. It's a good test to know that we can hack a heavy laser Mark I before it fires and still get a shot off with a chain laser, but we have to use a hacking part for it. That kind of sucks. We might want to consider upgrading the hacking system before anything else, because this is what's going to allow us to get through shields, take out enemy weapons. Oh, we're going to get hacked ourselves. We can mind control. I'm gonna wait on the mind control until I um, have a weapon ready to go. Cause I can like fire on their weapon system, get crew in there for repairs and then mind control them. That's my idea. Piloting's offline. That's not that big of a problem actually. What are we gonna hack? Uh, we are going to hack their weapons. Oh, I didn't even consider the freaking anti-drone, but luckily we we um, managed to land the hack. And here's my thinking. They fire the heavy laser, then we hack, then their secondary laser when it gets charged, it's the shield and we'll be fine. Then we hit them, we mind control, then we're fine. Mind control him. They're not even bothering with him because he's not in the shield room, that's fine. Now we hack them. They can only get one shot off. The second laser will hit the shields and then they'll be out of sync. Mantis is taking out their weapons, lovely. We're gonna take out their shields. L nice shot. <laughs> the Mantis will be able to take out one bar of shields. That's not a problem. And now they're gonna try to get in there and get it repaired. I just, I need to land in some shots at some point. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, I see. They put, brought the human in there for the repairs. Makes sense. <sighs> Fucking god damn it. I don't need the hacking part online. What I need to do is actually land a shot. There we go. And now we can mind control the mantis. Now they're going to deal with it with combat. There we go, the weapons are back online. The weapons are back in town. Now the weapons are offline. Oh, I see they have an anti-personnel drone. I didn't realize. They have a fire on their ship. It's very improbable, but it's possible I could kill the crew. I just have to keep mind controlling the Mantis. The problem is they have an anti-personnel drone, so it's gonna be very difficult to do. There's a fire in the shield room. The, sh the fire could kill them. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for the host too, Doc. Dude, I don't know, maybe we can kill their crew. This guy's almost dead. The automated, the anti-personnel drone might kill him. No, but we can. We did it, we killed the crew. How the hell did that work? We got back up to full health and we have 59 scrap. What? <laughs> that was unexpected. We freaking did it. 
The thing is, um, yes, I could have focused the O2. If I hacked the O2 system and then shot it, we could have suffocated them, no problem. But they had two lasers, they could have dealt damage to me over time. I wanted to make sure we, we killed them quickly and take their weapons offline, right? The thing is, all right, well, goodbye. The thing is, they don't actually focus the O2 system over other systems. They only focus the O2 system when their oxygen is low. So if you take out shields and oxygen at the same time, they'll focus shields. If they're low on oxygen, then they'll focus on oxygen because they're like, oh shit, we're suffocating, we should do this. But I, I hear that a lot. I hear a lot of people say, hey, you gotta focus the O2 system, they'll focus repairs on it. That's not actually true. It's situational. You have to kind of, um, kind of learn that. They focus shields to the extent that they will have their pilot go and repair the shield system. So if you if you ever do want to do boarding or mind control or hacking, it's usually a good room to start in because if you can damage it, mind control the person repairing it, they're going to bring crew in there to, to, to fix it, you know? If you just mind control the person in the shield room, they're going to send their engine personnel into the shield room to man the station and then they'll get into a fight. The shield room is the highest priority room, second only to the piloting room. That's why it's really good to, to focus on that shield room first. More civilian ships, I love it. Now this ship, this is not a heavy laser. This is a basic laser. I don't think that trick will work by having the shield system manned. We might want to consider hacking the shield room. Not the shield room, right? Uh, the weapon room. We could also mind control the pilot, which we could do. We could potentially kill the crew aboard this ship, but it will be difficult. We're gonna mind control the pilot, though. Rockman will make his way into the room. We can hack the weapons. We want to hack after the laser fires. Maybe the shields would have come back online. I don't freaking know. Uh, and now I actually want to go in on their crew members fighting. Wound him. He got in an extra shot when the mind control wore off. Because the thing is, with their weapons being out of sync, they're not going to hurt me. I can take out their O2 system, their piloting room, kill their crew. I'm just going to wait for the mind control to come back online and mind control the pilot again, you know? Why not? The weapons are going to be in sync next barrage. we got to be careful. Actually, the beam will fire first. We have one more cycle before we have to worry. But we have the hack. We can just hack their weapons down. It's not a problem. Okay, go in on piloting. They have one crew member left. Yeah, we will, we will absolutely be able to kill the crew here. Just by using a chain laser, a hack, and a mind control. The only thing I'm using this, this hack for is just to keep their weapons out of sync. That's it. Perfect. Dude, we're... This, I, f I feel like we're so much stronger than the last ship, the Nasasio, but um, we also just have extra crew. We have systems that we can use. We can be creative. I like it. Uh, we do not need reactor power right now. What I need is another bar of shields above all else. Go to two more beacons. Reject their offer. You see, this is why I wanted the next bar of shields, because with two lasers, they literally can't hurt me at all. I can kill their crew just by freaking uh, waiting for the teleporter. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We wait for them to beam over, and then we just go to town. Uh, shield man, Zoltan. Actually, yeah, come in this room, and I will murder you. Oh, wait, no! Go in this room. Fuck it, yeah, yeah, have the pilot go in too. Murder this rock behemoth. Their NG's gonna die. Their rock man is dead. It's gonna be tough to kill one rock man, but if I can get him to like destroy the O2 system or something, we might be able to make it work. Why don't we give it a shot? Let's um take out the O2. It's not offline, it's a problem. 
He's gonna get it repaired too. Mm. We can we can still do this though. It's just gonna be a little bit trickier. Just gonna wait. He's gonna leave the oxygen room. I'm gonna hack it and then I'm gonna shoot it. AJ Bunny Bun. You will not die first. No one aboard this ship will die. Don't worry about it, okay? You'll be fine. This is what we're gonna do. Hack it. Reduce our oxygen level a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Then. It's gonna take a couple of shots to take out the O2, but we have a chain laser. It's gonna work out fine. There. Now, all we need to do is keep the O2 offline, keep this guy mind controlled, and he will not be able to take out the O2 system or he won't be able to get it repaired. Because here's the thing, he's gonna spend time busting through the door, and then we can mind control him again, and then he'll walk out of the room. My oxygen needs to come online. <laughs> Let's do that right now. Let's get the engines powered up a little bit too. So he's gonna try to get it repaired. Oh, he's, uh, he's gonna repair it. Oh no, in five seconds, he's gonna be mind controlled. He won't be able to repair it. The oxygen is gonna go down. We just wait. And no O2 for you. Twenty seven. Twenty six. Twenty five. It goes down very quickly. Three. Twenty two. Twenty one. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifty. Fourteen. Three. I think at like ten they start taking damage. Five? Seven. Six. Five. Five. Okay. It's good to know. And while this is happening, also my crew is getting leveled up a little bit. Also, this is why I'm, I'm only... So there is a reason also for mind controlling at level one. All I need him to do is be delayed in the repair. If I mind control him to level two, he will destroy a, a system before the mind control wears off. That's not what I want. I just want him to get out of the room, stop the repairs. Mind control level one does that, and because the system is hacked, he has to bust down the doors to get in, he can't repair it before the mind control comes out again. The combination works with a mind control and a hacking system. You can take out the O2 very easily, but still a little finicky. Okay, we've done it. Let's go to the exit, get the hell out of this sector. Um, I'm gonna get the hacking to level two, and we'll jump. You're typing so fast your messages are not being sent in the Twitch chat. Well, I'm sorry for that, but I cannot control that at all. We are gonna hack there. Shields! I'd love to hack their weapons, but is that good enough? Maybe I can take one of their weapons offline, maybe two. Um, I gotta think. The annoying part is they only have two crew members, but... I tell you what, I tell you what, this is what we're gonna do. Hack this guy, have him take out the shields, we'll take out weapons. You know what, we can just have you guys stay like this. Zoltan can get in there and, and get that shit repaired. Why is the shields not fully powered up? That's dumb. The hacking part's going in. It landed. Uh, we'll get hacking to level two. Shields are gonna go down. Okay, like this, like this. Wait. Why is my weapon? Oh, I, I need power. I need power. Desperately. Should have let them fire the laser first, because then I could have hacked. And they would have been out of sync. That's my bad. Doc, you're fine. Just kill him. Thank you. Zoltan, get in the shield room. Get the shields up. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're gonna be fine. It's gonna be close, but we'll be fine. 
Uh, where's the hacking system? If I could send the Zoltan in there, I could get power back, but I could just wait seven seconds and we'll be fine. Uh, take out the O2? Might be able to suffocate him. Let's get my, um... Engines up. He's going- Ah, oh, there's a fire in the O2 room. Perfect, perfect. You won't be able to get in there and get it repaired if I mind control him once. Yes! Okay, so I-, I Oh, and because he, he's in the room, the power's going into the flat gun. I can actually get a second to get stuff online. We will be fine here. I don't think we're gonna take any damage from this point forward. Doc's a little low on health, but he'll be okay. Because there's a fire, there's no oxygen in the oxygen room, he can't get it repaired. Fire is slowly spreading throughout their ship. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yeah, I have a clone bay, you guys will be fine. In fact, we could kill you. <laughs> I don't want to because I don't want you to lose skills, but we could kill you. So the fire is slowly spreading throughout their ship. I don't want them to die, is the thing. Let's get my um, dodge chance up. I, I am farming a little bit of experience from this too. Ooh, one more hit and fly. We'll level up. Hey, nice job. The oxygen is being depleted. They will die. Or I should say this guy will die. As long as the fire doesn't go into the shield room. We're good. We're good. I might want to upgrade the clone bay at some point, but I can't do that here in this sector. Six fuel and 21 scrap. That's a good payout. We took a little damage on duck, but that's about it. What does is, what is the duck matter? I will make this trade because we have excess fuel and it's only one. We might get a missile launcher in the future, and if we do, we're going to want the missiles, so that's fine. 22 scrap, let's get a bar of reactor power. I was very, I was struggling, let's say, to have enough reactor power for everything on the last jump. That tells me we need to deal with it now. Uh, one red, two, three red, one, two, three red. If I go down, we can avoid the nebula, but honestly, we can kill ships pretty easily. We might wanna go up. It's like, do I want to go Zoltan or Zoltan? I guess it doesn't matter, does it, really? It's basically the same. Okay. Two scrap. We need more scrap. I don't know what this event is. It's been a long time. We can interfere, make contact with the primitive aliens. We can protect the aliens we have life and attack the rebels. I mean, I think we want... It's it's either we fight Zoltans or we fight rebels. I mean, I'd rather just fight the rebels. And then we just, we get into combat? Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> this is what we'll do. <laughs> um... I think we can kill the crew. Do the same thing that we did before. Although I would need um, a laser to be online. So we'll hack O2. They only have one bar, which is perfect. Why is this perfect? We hack the system. We'll drop the oxygen prematurely before we, uh, we destroy the system. Actually, we can just hack it, can't we? I think we can just hack the system over and over again and we don't have to worry about it. So let's just do that instead. Get the O2 powered up, get the engines online, get trained up. My crew dudes. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just choke them. A second level oxygen room would be immune to this, uh, this tactic, but at level one, we can do this. We'll get trained up, we'll kill them with spending no 
resources whatsoever except for one drone part. No risk. No extra strain on our weapons. You know, they only have a limited number of shots. They're only rated for, you know, a million laser blasts or something. And you can see their oxygen level here in the top right. Two more, and I think they'll start taking damage, and then they'll die. I could try to shoot him. Train up my crew a little bit. You know, might as well. I don't know, take out the... Shields. And... Oh, barely! I don't think they took any damage from that, but they will. They will. It's like we can drop the O2 level by like 40% per hack and it comes up by 30% per hack. Something silly like that. Start a fire? I mean, I am hoping for like a random fire or something, but there we go. Slow suffocation is what I want from this. Every Tuesday you fill the cannons full of sauce and spaghetti. We call it cannon, cannonoli Tuesday. Cannonoli, cannonoli. It's a war of attrition, but it's not really even a war of attrition. It's a war of just sitting here and suffocating them to death slowly, and they don't have the AI capable of being like, we should leave. <laughs> like, they should really want to leave, because they can't hurt me, and I can kill them easily. Oxygen goes up 24% on a hack, and it goes down by, like, double that. Oh, Iron Blast Mark II. We killed the crew. Uh, that's a decent enough gun. It's really good if we can get it powered up, but it requires three power, which is a lot of power. It's worth selling if that's what we do. So if, if, that's a, if that's a guaranteed gun encounter, I don't know if it was, but if that's a guaranteed gun encounter, you always wanna protect the alien's way of life. That's what it seems like. Uh, this ship has a missile launcher. We're not gonna do that strat of slow and steady wins the race. We're just gonna go in hard. We're gonna do that by mind controlling the mantis. We don't need two bars of shields. We'll get ready to hack them. We're gonna hack them in the weapons room. <sighs> NG was like going to go help out the O2 man. Decided not to. Ah, that's silly. I mean, the the Mantis is gonna destroy the O2 and then they'll get in there for combat, is the good news. Good. And the pilot's getting off of the piloting station too. And the missile launcher's offline. Perfect, perfect. Get the O2 powered up. They boarded me. Um, I mean, we'll just kill him. We'll kill him instantly. Watch out for power. Be very careful about the Zoltan being in the room. Uh, they're gonna get stuff repaired very quickly, which is annoying. We might just have to kill the, the crew, but if I can get the, um, the mind control operational, we might be able to kill the crew just by mind controlling all of their crew, which would be lovely. Power is fine. Shields are up. Always gotta be careful about the shields being up because of the frickin' Zoltan power mismanagement. Yeah, perfect. This is ex exactly what I want. Kill the crew, leave one NG alive. We can take out their O2. And by taking out their O2, they won't be able to get it repaired. Well, it's gonna take a couple of shots to make it happen, but we can make it happen. Yeah, the, the other thing is, we don't have to hack their ship at all. We, I'll fire one shot to kill a crew. Uh, we don't have to necessarily um, hack the O2 or mind control them, but what we would have to do otherwise is just wait for them to get it repaired and then hit it with one shot. There's a fire in the O2 room, perfect. He's down to 16 health, he'll die. Thank <laughs> you. 
We just have to keep hitting the O2 room. <laughs> they died. But they're offering me surrender offer of a another slug. If I say no, we might not get a crew member. I'm going to take the crew member. Yes. Yes, I will accept your surrender offer. Ugh, I died. We got Graffin. Yeah, um, it, it's the thing is, is that it's it's a little difficult to make sure that you hit the O2 room to keep it offline once they get it repaired. You have to make sure that your shots land. You have to make sure you're not going to overkill the ship. I much prefer to just keep it offline if at all possible. Um, so let's get this guy renamed. I see a mud. Welcome back, mud. Um, everyone go back to your rooms. We got the Zoltan in the door room. Zoltan can now be a permanent fixture in the clone bay if we want him to be. I'm gonna keep him in the engine room though. That power is better spent here. I can always move him to the clone bay if we have to. I think it's better to just, to just have him in the uh, engine room though. Sweet, okay. Mun needs to do things. He does. Oh, dude, fry. <laughs> By fry, I mean fly. Augment stealth weapons. Not very useful, but I appreciate the free augment from putting out the fire. I like that encounter because it's like the rock man busts through the airlock and throws fire returnant all over the place because he's immune to the fire. It's very heroic. Kind of like that. It's a fun encounter. Um, do not hack weapons and we'll be fine. Or do not hack shields rather and we'll be fine. Ah, oh, shit. Um, is there a way to do this? Yes, if I hack their hacking system, I can destroy their hacking part. And we can kill the crew slowly by mind control. Okay. Uh, they could shoot down my defense drone though. Ah, shit. Shit. <sighs> this is This is gonna be difficult. I'll try to hack once? I'm not gonna depower the hacking system to cheese it. Shit, this sucks. The shields being offline is a big problem. Um, we might wanna go in on their weapons, mind control the crew, try to kill them that way. Oh, th that wasn't even their hacking system. That's their hacking system. How the hell are we gonna do this? I think we're going to get weapons. Oh, we shot down one of their drones. It's the wrong drone, though, unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> this is this is a tricky one. This is a definite tricky encounter. We need we need to land in a shot. Is the thing. Problem is the damn hacking system. If we're lucky, it's not gonna matter, but I need to land a shot. Thank you. Now we mind control. Now we keep them busy. Basically auto-firing on weapons now to kill the crew. It's weird, my ship right now is really good at killing crew and that's about it. Oh, look at that. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. It's a miracle. Just keep them, keep them down. Keep the weapons offline. I am so surprised we didn't take damage on this encounter. Not yet, anyways. Oh, <laughs> where are you going, bud? This uh, NG is almost dead. He's dead. We can kill him. Two more shots will kill him, and they will live with one hull integrity remaining. How cool is that? Play Slime Rancher. Dude, I mean, I'll play anything you guys want as long as there's enough people saying yes. Halberd Beam! We got the Halberd Beam, it's really freaking good. Like, this is what I don't get. Chain Burst Laser, yeah. Chain Charge Cap, seven seconds, starts at 16 seconds. The Halberd Beam! As a 17 second charge time, it's ridiculous. But at least now we have a reason to, you know, want 
high charge or high time charge weapons because we go hard at 17 seconds with the halberd beam. That's a very good get. It's going to be very expensive to get operational. It's going to be ugh, 110 scrap. Ugh, it's going to take a while. But you know what? I think we're fine right now. I'm going to sell the ion blast stealth weapons and the slug repair gel. Let's go to like two more beacons and then we'll hit up the store. Play Into the Breach. I was playing Into the Breach for a while. I'm, I probably will come back to that game once I maybe like finish a couple of series that I'm doing right now. Finish. I mean, they're all just like roguelikes except for um, Dark Souls. We're not going to take any damage on this encounter because they literally can't hurt us. So this will just be one of those one of those fights where we just sit back and relax. How will we kill them? Well, let's think. Uh, we could mind control the crew, let them fight each other, and then kill them with our own weapons. Seems like a pretty good idea. How's the crew doing? Squig on weapons, 54 of 65. He'll get trained up slowly. If we had the Ion Blast online, that would be a perfect thing to use right now. Just get him trained up infinitely. Fly on shields, really nice. Good crew, good crew. There we go. Oh, mind control of the fire, perfect. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you, where are you? Kill him! Kill him! Oh my god, you fucking mind control asshole. There we go. They're dead. I I didn't know what happened when I pressed one. I don't know what I accepted, but you know what? They're dead. It doesn't matter. Play through every Halo game. I don't think I can do that because the Halo games aren't for PC, although maybe they are, I don't really know. Um, you'd have to tell me, because I, I haven't really followed. Ugh. You know what? Send you in first. I, would, I wouldn't mind playing Halo, it's been a long time. Or uh, God of War, which was suggested. Ooh. Should suggest it. I haven't played that in a long time either. How are we gonna do this? Um, we're gonna wait for the mantis to die, and then we're gonna hack the clone bay. That's it. That's the that's the uh, limit of my plan. So he's dead. We can then focus entirely on the NG, and then when he dies, we'll hack the system again. That's it. Easy. Debbie is garbage. Who's Debbie? God of War, aka Boy of War. I think I... I think I played... up to God of War 3? Can't quite remember. Where are you going, buddy? Engine room... Oh, okay. Two Ion Blast Mark IIs. That's a little unusual. I'm not even gonna say that's not unusual. That's not unusual. That's that's quite unusual. It's good, because they are rather pricey pieces of equipment, and it would be nice to get rid of them. Chain Laser Halberd Beam is good enough on its own, and they are, I mean, they're quite expensive. Everything we have is like 32. Um, I'm not going to take stealth weapons. I'm going to buy, I think, the drone control system because there are defense drones. And we do need missile defense. That would give us missile defense. I think that's what we want. So, sell stealth weapons. Buy drone control. We will buy a med bay, I think, to replace the freaking clone bay because the clone bay is fucking garbage. Um, so let's get rid of the on blast. Let's get rid of the slug repair gel. Buy the defense drone, get rid of the 
combat drone by the medbay. Now we can get people who are healed up. That's really, that's a good little sector there, isn't it? Picked up a lot of good stuff. Um, the med bay is nice so that I don't have to worry about crew dying. We did have a Zoltan, so we could have technically dealt with the power situation of, you know, getting hit in the, we're not getting hit, but getting ionized in the clone bay, but this is just so much better because I don't have to worry. We have missile defense. We have the ability to kill crew quite easily with the hacking and the mind control. I'm gonna keep one ion blast, I think. We don't need to buy anything else from the store, so we might as well keep it. We're gonna need more weapons in the future, and just in case we don't get any, we can use this later, but. The next thing that we're gonna wanna upgrade, I think, is going to be, probably, weapons. It's gonna be 110 scrap, which means it's probably only gonna happen on the next sector, but I think that's okay. And I also do want to get into the nebula and bounce around a little bit. But I'm going to need scrap first. We might want to bounce around the nebula from the backside in that case. So we'll go down and up and around. Yeah, you can now no longer be near on death at all times. <laughs> Basically. I can ionize O2 forever. Oh, Zoltan Shield Bypass is quite good. Kind of. You can kind of ionize it forever, but not quite. Total War game? I don't think I've ever played a Total War, Total War game. Secure the fuel! They have one missile launcher. They're gonna board us with a teleporter. We can put out a, a defense drone. We don't need shields. I would like to mind control them before they did anything else, though. Perfect. If I can kill one of their crew members with the Mantis, that's ideal. Um, they do have a medbay. They will try to heal in the medbay. I'm gonna have to destroy it. But we could also hack the medbay and then kill them when they walk into the medbay to like repair it or to get healed. We're gonna want a defense drone. I have no weapons online? Oh my god. We're gonna hack the medbay. I could hack O2. In fact, I could hack O2. But then they would die in the medbay, but then I could shoot their medbay and take it offline. Can I even do that with the power? Yes. Okay. We're gonna hack oxygen, I think. I need oxygen to be online on my ship. Get the Zoltan in there for that. They have no shields online, is the thing. Oh, mind control is depowered because the Zoltan walked through the damn room, like usual. Hack. Eventually they'll run out of missiles, and when that happens, you know, I can finish them off. Until then, I'm just going to deal with them as I can. We can kill one of their crew members aboard my ship right now, not a problem. Defense drone, good work. Keep it up. Stay there, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, still a nuclear throne stream. Ah, oh, thank you for telling me. I forgot to change the game title. It is done. Thank you, Flytris, for the save. It's important to do that because when you look at the VOD on Twitch, it actually has like a um, a chapter list, and it's like, here's where he plays Nuclear Throne, here's where he plays FTL, so... Whoops on me for not having the correct game up there. I don't know, dodge chance? Oh, you know what I can do? When they go into the medbay to heal, I will mind control them at that moment. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Why do they have a sh 
Where'd they get power for their shield system? Ah, uh, because they don't have the teleporter online anymore. They've boarded me, and they're not going to board me anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute, this isn't the other game. This isn't Nuclear Throne. It's going to take a little while, but yeah. They'll go into the med bay to heal. I'll mind control one of the crew members, and then they'll die. It'll work perfectly. And now, they're out of missiles, I can get some other shit powered up. No, this is not Nuclear Throne, this is Patrick. <laughs> Love the music in this game. A lot of the games I play lately have, have fantastic soundtracks. This ship is gonna take a million years. But it'll get the job done, I swear. There they go. Now they're gonna go into the medbay to get healed up. We mind control them. Uh, the guy who's mind controlled will not get healed. The Mantis will get healed. Uh, which means that what we need actually is weapon power of all things. So please go into this room. Get the chain laser powered up. There we go, mind control crew member is killed. Now I need to actually take out the med bay, but they only have one mantis remaining, they're out of missiles. Wait for him to get into the med bay before I shoot. It looked like they only had a level one med bay is the thing, so there, it's offline. He's not gonna get that repaired anytime soon because he's a freaking mantis. And in fact, We can prevent him from repairing it like this. I think we got it. There we go. Lovely. We finally did it after a million goddamn years. We just, we killed the crew. <laughs> oh my God, it takes forever. I'm gonna get the piloting upgrade though before I do one more jump, just in case it is the um, the good jump, the one that gives us a, gives us a blue event option. The Great Eye. This is the one that can like kill a crew member. I'm gonna leave. I don't like the Great Eye encounter. I don't like losing crew members for basically no reason. How about Civilization? I have not played Civilization. I'm bad at Civilization. I'm bad at those grand strategy games. Abandoned Sector. We can't do abandoned sectors and kill croup. We could just do the sector and do it. We can counter mind control, hacking, and we have a defense drone to counter weapons, like missiles. I'm gonna go civilian. I, I hate the abandoned sectors, they're garbage. Monster Hunter World. I've heard that that's a good game. I know that Chris has been playing that. I don't know if he's been playing it recently. Maybe he stopped. I don't know. It's like Dark Souls, except you're hunting down monsters, but it's not really hunting. It's more like go to point A, wound him 20%, go to point B, wound him 50%, go to point C and finish him off, which is kind of weird. Oh, this is gonna suck. Um, How the hell? Are we gonna kill the ship? They have two bars of shields. I've been neglecting my weapon upgrades. Um, well, we can hack them in shields and we have to. Please dodge. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Great A work, team. I don't even want to fucking, like, take my power away from anything. Mind control the Mantis. Make him destroy a system or something. I don't freaking know. Oh, thank God. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. This is, um... This is sketchy. We took out their big laser, though. Good Lord. Synthetic is an interesting game. I think I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. 
gotta get this repaired. Get the dodge chance up, 24%. Hey, we dodged one. That's what we needed. They just came out of cloak. Let's hack him again. Good, we took the big laser offline. Oh, but they moved the power back into it. That's okay, we can mind control the crew member repairing it now to keep it offline. To keep one of their guns offline anyways. I think we have to. Might as well fire to get the cooldown low. We're not gonna be able to actually, oh fuck. Min max the power. Oh my fucking god damn it. Garbage. And online. I, I don't, dude, I don't know. I don't freaking know how we're gonna destroy this ship. This ship's gonna destroy us, I think. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it out. Do we wait for the repair? I think we wait for the repair to finish. They have an NG repairing the weapons, unfortunately, but I think we wait for the repair to finish. Get some shots out. Get you repairing things. Mud is the go-to repair guy, I guess. God damn, how many shots does that thing fire? I didn't min-max my power. Oh my fucking god. We're gonna destroy this ship. Even if it takes me a million goddamn years, we are going to destroy this piece of garbage ship. They're all getting healed up and shit. No! We will dodge, we will win, we will survive because we are survivors. Mind control. Hack. Yo oh, ho ho. We will not accept surrender. I'm going to murder you. I'm going to feel good about it. You will die. Oh shit, get the dodge chance up. 22%. Warning O2 low. I just can't kill their crew fast enough. I can wound them. Oh, that's a lot of shots. Dodge chance up. 27%. Excuse me, I had a sneeze. Get the hack. They're all in the med bay, which is lovely, but I can't do anything about it. You know what I need to do? is move this guy out of the room. Cause then I get the power back from the hack system. And I can put it into engines. O2's low. We're getting it repaired, don't worry. Oh, I managed to sneak in another shot. Thanks to the fast charge of the chain laser. They only have one laser online. Oh, we can do it. Get the O2 up. We're not gonna die. We will not perish. We will not go quietly into the night. Wherever that goes from uh, Independence Day. We will not give up without a fight. We will live on. We will survive. Because today we celebrate our Independence Day. Yeah, woo, yeah. Speech, 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 speech. We're not really celebrating independence in this game. We're, the rebels are trying to get their independence. We're trying to hold the Federation together. God damn, okay, Jesus. Okay, uh, <laughs> need another freaking weapon online at some point. I'm going to get, in that case, the weapon upgrade now so that I can hack and use the halberd beam. It would have been 
so much better to have. We would have destroyed the ship much faster. The problem was, is that the chain laser only does at most two damage. The halberd beam could have done at most eight damage per shot. We would have been done with the fight in like two cycles of the hack. Power is still a little bit of a concern, but we can we can deal with that in a moment. Can't even accept their offer if I wanted to. Hack. Hack. See, in a situation like this, hacking the weapons isn't bad because we can get through their shields with the halberd beam. Which I think we should do. Get the halberd beam online, hack their weapons so we don't take any damage, and we should be able to kill them very quickly. And I can even mind control them to get them to fight each other if I really wanted to, but it, I, I think I actually just want to get the dodge chance up. And we'll halberd like so. Make sure that it actually lands, it does. There we go, that's the proper timing. You wait for one weapon to fire, then you hack the other. This is only sector three, what the fuck have I been doing? It's been over an hour. With, th with this ship or FTL in general? Because we did have that partial Nasashio run. The thing is, this ship is really good at killing crew and slowly killing ships, you know? There we go. Now that we're getting later in the game, it's gonna be harder to um, protect myself from damage while I suffocate enemy ships. It's gonna actually go a lot faster at this point. It's gonna speed up. This might be one of those runs that I actually do cut into two pieces for, for YouTube if it's gonna be like three hours long or something. It'll keep them guessing. They'll think I die in like sector four. But I don't, I live and we murder everything. Need reactor power. I'm gonna be upgrading my ship a lot, I think. One drone part for nine fuel. I will make that trade. I'm not dissing the ship, I actually really like that ship. Hey, explore the debris for a flak gun. Oh, so good. We don't need the ion anymore. In fact, we might not even need the, uh, the chain laser, but we'll, we'll keep it like this. Dude, this is great. Actually, a chain laser flak could be a good combination, but we're gonna need some uh, more reactor power for it. Uh, we should leave before the oxygen depletes. <laughs> they only have beams, which means that I don't need to worry. They can't hurt me at all. So, you know what? I'm gonna eat my sandwich. <laughs> Okay, this might require some more thought because they have their stuff prepared. I don't want to use a drone part if I don't have to. How the f How the hell are we going to do this? I mean, here's the thing. I could wait. They'll get their stuff prepared and then I can attack them. With the halberd beams. I want How do we do this then? I mean, how we do this is that we fire on these systems instead. Because the thing is, right, I took the weapon offline, I took one of their drones offline, they diverted power into their shield system and then they got two bars. But if I attack their shields first, they'll divert power into their, their drone control bay. So I'm kind of like, what the hell do I do here? Well, if I attack these systems, they will die in like three more cycles. I could attack engines Piloting? No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They will only divert power when the shield system goes to no bars. They'll get it repaired in between shots. Okay, this is good, this is good. Because we now know that they have two, two capacity for shields. They're not gonna divert the power fast enough they diverted the power, shit. <laughs> um, get the shields online. Screw the halberd beam. There, okay, we're fine, we're fine. We took one point of damage. 
I need... I need you to get into the shield room. That's what I need. That's where my power is going. There we go. Now I can get the halberd beam online. That's that's a mistake I made, I think. Is that if I moved my crew member into the shield room, then we could have had two bars of shield for the fight. We actually took two more points of damage. But you know what? They're gonna die. Whatever. Die, get out of here, fucking go away. That's, that's dumb damage to take. I didn't really consider the... Um, The Zoltan in the sh in the uh, engine room. I should have put him in the shield room because we didn't need dodge chance. They had beams. I needed shields so that if that drone landed a shot, I would still be s safe. But obviously, that didn't happen the way I thought it would. Bit of a misplay, but we're still alive. Sorry for that, just had a cough. Let's take a look at the ship. Three lasers, two lasers. One bar of shields means the halberd beam will penetrate. We can easily hit their clone bay. They're gonna board us, we could kill a crew member. We could hack them. If we hack them in weapons, we can stop them from firing one shot. Problem is, I can't really hit weapons and clone bay and shield at the same time. We're gonna have to figure this out. Bit of a puzzle. I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to use a drone part. <clears throat> so I'm going to. We can hack their weapons after they fire one, so that we kind of stagger them a little bit. Oh, we can absolutely kill this crew member back here. You know what? Send you to do it. We can kill him and hit with the halberd beam, and they only have one capacity in their clone bay. We can kill this guy permanently, which I would love to do. Okay, fired one. Hack. Everyone go back to your rooms. Make sure we have power for the weapon system from the Zoltan. We do. Excellent. Good, red. So that crew member is dead forever. Now, can we kill the NG? Question. The answer may surprise you. The answer is yes, we can kill the NG. Uh, we're gonna do it by hitting O2 and weapons. As long as we dodge one shot of every three from this, we'll be fine. We can hack the weapon system. We can mind control the NG to stop him from repairing stuff, and we can hit the O2 system to slowly deplete oxygen throughout their ship. So we can we can definitely do this. Ah, they have double oxygen, so it's gonna take a, a minute to do, but we'll we'll be able to do it. One dodge, that's all we need. That's all we need. Do a double hack. One more point of damage on weapons. We'll take this offline. They'll only ha only have the double shot laser, which is what we want. Good. Actually, not even. Oh, because they both take two power. That's right. FFS, the stream is buffering again. It, it might have might have just been temporary. The stream looks fine to me. It buffered for like 10 seconds, that's about it. Just a small, a small hiccup, Flytris, I'm sorry to say. He's gonna try to get the weapons repaired. We're gonna say no. I, I only wanna hit the, uh, the clone bay after he dies. Don't destroy it, don't destroy it, don't destroy it. Don't, don't destroy it, don't destroy it, don't destroy it! Shit. I can't kill the crew because I can't hack the system. 
How did he destroy it that quickly? It was a level one mind control. How did... That is strange, wow. Huh. I... I thought that, um... I thought that a, a level one mind control couldn't destroy a, a system, but... It did? Very weird. Hmm. Huh. Well, you know what? It's fine. We're gonna go to that store. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to the store. We have a lot of a lot of garbage. Zoltan Shield Bypass we don't need unless we have bombs. And we don't really have a, a use for bombs except to like destroy a medbay or a clone bay or something. So I think we're gonna sell that. Let's go to one more beacon? Can we go to two more beacons? Yes, we can go to two more beacons and then hit up the store. And then hopefully sell stuff, buy a lot of stuff, we'll be fine. That was not a Mantis, that was an NG. So I don't know how he managed to destroy the system in a level one mind control, but that was kind of not great that that happened. But, I mean, we at least destroyed the ship. Intervene! They cannot hurt me at all. So, this is gonna be one of those situations where we try to kill the crew. We should be able to with one hack in the O2 room, I think. Yep, we can kill him. Don't even need the halberd online, might as well just power up the mind control. What's the, what's the hotkey? the hot key for uh, for hacking I don't want to have my hand on the mess <laughs> this is one of those automatic encounters where it's like what's the button N all right well N how's everyone doing today <laughs> doing good I hope uh, you know what hold up uh, there is a reason to have the chain ion firing and that is training so let's do that Squig needs to get leveled up. So there we go. Maybe you'd be able to watch a little bit more effectively if you didn't have both your phone and your laptop playing the stream. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm looking forward to this FTL run being a victory and not losing in 30 minutes when the video ends for those of you on YouTube. I didn't hack when I should have. No one's died yet. So it's going good for you guys too. <laughs> Just... This is why I like boarding, because you can more quickly get results on killing the crew. But I mean, you know, whatever works, right? Oh, I see, you're watching the YouTube video. Well, that's good. How are we gonna kill the crew? Because the thing is, um, we have to take out the med base somehow. Which means we're gonna need the flak gun online. So let's get that flak gun online and get that shooting immediately. We gotta, we gotta take out the, uh, the med base system. If I can take it out, I can mind control the crew, trying to repair it or something. But the only way I can do this is by destroying the system. The halberd beam won't be able to pierce through the shields. <laughs> I mean, one day it'll land. Yeah, this is a great Nasasio run. <laughs> perfect, 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 perfect. So now they're gonna get it repaired. We mind control him. They fight each other. Now he's gonna get it repaired. Hopefully the flat gun keeps it offline or that you know he deals with the boarding or something. Nope, he's just gonna get it repaired. That's fine. Yes! One crew member will die, maybe two. No, they got it repaired just barely in time. That's fine though, you know, this is all about killing them slowly, waiting for it to get in the red, mind controlling them, hacking them.
Take out the system? No. Nope. One day the flak will do something, okay? I swear to you. There we go. Even just taking out the, oh, we took out the O2 and the med bay. We're done. They're dead. We've killed them, finally, after all of these years. Good luck, Ekman. Don't even, don't even care. Don't even read it. Just get me out of here. Rock crew member again. Automated reloader. That's a good augment. I really like those stat upgrades. Faster rate of fire. Faster shield recharge. Especially faster shield recharge works really well against, uh, against drones. Ion blast. Goodbye. Dude, hull laser seems really good. Bypass. Goodbye. Guns do we want? 14 second charge time. Breaching bomb could be good. Breaching bomb is very useful for killing crew. We can afford a bunch of stuff here at the store. Halberd beam, black pike chain, heavy hull breach. What do we want? Anti-drone I think we want. Really good for the rebel flagship fight. It's cheap, we'll buy it. Now, here's my thinking. I think we take all three of these guns. Breaching bomb for destroying medbay or oxygen. Hull laser, it is pretty good. Has a chance of breaching when it hits. Hull laser, it's a pretty good one power weapon because it does two damage. It's effectively a, a cheap hull laser when the shields are down. And then after that, I think we maybe take a flak for busting through shields and then either a pike beam or a halberd beam for damage, because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power with the halberd beam. And everything would sh would charge in between, well, nine, 14, 10, 17. So every 17 seconds we fire shots, right? Yeah, yeah, that seems pretty nice. Lots of high value weaponry. The thing is, that that's gonna cost me some money because I'm selling things for half price and buying them for full price, but this would be really good. The breaching bomb we can use for a couple of sectors to break ships. We have 15 missiles. We need to bust through shields. We don't have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we don't even really need the heavy laser. I'll buy it for now. Yeah, but we're not gonna need it. We're not gonna use it. As soon as I get one more weapon upgrade, we can use Flak Hull Laser for uh, for busting through shields when we need it. Halberd Beam's gonna be a late game pickup for us. When we wanna kill ships quickly, we can use this with the Flak and the Hull Laser. Ignore the breaching. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven power. Weapon power, we're gonna kill a lot of crew. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just buy it now. So I spent a lot of money there. I think it was worth it though. 